The entire week, it all builds up to the main event, which we know is the Gold Cup, and what a renewal we've got this year. Don Cossack, the Tour, Don Pony, Jackadam, the mighty Q card, Smad Place, who's come through the ranks this year, Road to Riches last year's third in at 16-20-1, Tanya. Mm. <laughs> One of the more exciting Gold Cups for years. It has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, it really it's does. Fantastic. has to be. So many good stories coming into the race. Um, and so much drama has already happened. In, with, um, I'm yeah, talking no. about in the King George win, Don Cossack fell. There was many arguments saying that he would have won had he stood up. I'm also mentioning with the Vatour. Will that run? It should run, shouldn't it? Jack Adam was second last year. With you mentioned the third, and then Val Solido. Nice of that to cloudy the water, wasn't it? Yeah. That was travelling so well. And then Carly for Lock comes out. Carly for well. Lock, um, and then Smad Place, who annihilated many clouds. What are you going to do? Well, I'm in the Don Cossack camp because I thought that uh, when he was third in the Ryanair Chase, two out. He was starting to make his run, having had 35 flat spots in the race. <laughs> and he ran into the back of two horses when landing mm. two out. And that stopped him when he was actually on, on a going run. And he ran on really strongly. Then we've seen what happened subsequently. He came out and got all sorts of high and exciting ratings. And we know he fell in the King George. Leave that to one side. He came out subsequently, ran at Turles. Two and a half miles, wasn't it? And then the further they went... You wouldn't be wrong, Tyler. The think further they went, the better he went. Yeah. So I am Camp Don Cossack this year. Having been Camp Jack Adam last year, I'm Camp Don Cossack. So we're not going to concentrate on all the times he's fell or run on the back of horses or run seated. We're only going to co concentrate on the positive. On the fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. He's, he's bad. He can deal with the rough and tumble. <laughs> he's certainly got the ability to go yeah. with it. Of that, yeah. there can be no doubt. Bill? I, I like Don Cossack. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with what Tanya said. The only concerns I have with Don Cossack is, you know, when you, when you look at his running style, he, he, he wasn't ever, he didn't travel like a child horse travels, uh, last year, and even in the King George, yeah. for those that are back to the King George, he, 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 he never looked like winning, and then he came, when he, the moment you start to think he's getting involved, he, he came down. Yeah. I like him. I don't like his price. It's something that off puts yeah. me. Probably a win-only proposition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 he is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, yeah. when you watch last year's run over it again, he, he, if they'd had another two fences to jump, he was right in the mix, but they didn't. And yeah. my concern with him is, as I said, his price. Um, Vitor, I don't necessarily think he'll stay. Okay. That's my concern with him. Um, he might not even run if, it's, if, if his soft ground stays. Um, Jackadam, obviously you can forgive a horse a fall, he fell at Cheltenham on trials day. The issue I think there is this chest injury that no one knows about, you know, he got the cut on, on his yeah. chest. Um, so he's, he's got a lot to answer for. Don Poli will trade at much bigger prices in running just because of his running style. Um, I think he's a big player if the ground is soft. Yeah. I, I would worry about him if he, he wasn't. I always think he's a bit synchronised esque, isn't he, Don Poli? The way he just keeps yeah, going. You can see him yeah. going well in a national in a couple of years. Well, he's, time, just, he's just, he's just, he's, he's just. A boat. Gets it done. Well, he, gets it, he gets it done. Yeah. He pulls out more and pull, pulls out more. Um, the two I like, if I had to take two away, I, I, I like Q card. I like Q card on the basis that I think everyone wants to grab him, but he keeps winning. And obviously, he braved out of King George. Stamina was always the issue with Q card, but to get back up to reel the tour in, whether the tour was coming back or not, <clears throat> open to debate. But to reel him in and win that King George on that ground, and the fact that he goes well at Cheltenham. Um, I think he's a major player here, and I like him, and I like Smad Place, because I think he, he reminds me a bit of many clouds last year, he just keeps winning, people think, oh, yeah. he won't win again, he yeah, won't win, win he can't win a Grand National, he's won his Hennessy, yeah. I think with him, he, he, he destroyed that Hennessy field, and then he's backed that up with a really good win at Cheltenham, and he, you know, he proved he stayed that day, I just think he's a genuine player, I'd rather take the two, cue card and Smad Place. Forecast Bill. You're the forecast man from last year. It wouldn't I be know the you first to put up a forecast on the Gold Cup. I, I, I know you teed it up for me to say it, but you put the forecast up. How dare um, you? Even a blind squirrel finds the occasional nut, as they say. <laughs> uh, but well done for last year. Come on, Don, Poli, Don Poli would be my idea of the Irish horses. I, I think that he's two out of two at Cheltenham. Um, he won the RSA by six lengths. Eight wins from 12 races, uh, only once ever been out of the first two. 
But I share the views of uh, Bill that uh, Smad Place, um, of course, he'd be seeking to be only the second grey ever to win the Gold Cup after another certain horse, whose picture I see on the wall there. Um, I think that um, he, he really has improved this season, hasn't he? Yeah, he um, be But mission. being an, uh, an aged romantic, the horse I'd love to see win would be Q Card, without mm. a shadow of a doubt, for the Tizards. And the million pound bonus. Um, he's been to the festival, I think, five times, no, seven times, and he's, he's won there three times. And ever since he's had this breathing operation, the great stamina question mark that was always hanging over him, that seems to have disappeared. Mm -hmm. right. And he doesn't yeah. seem to have been under any pressure this season at all. And um, just the thought of the Tizards and those nice owners to, to get the million pound bonus, uh, I hope that they cop. This is everything why jump racing is better than flat racing. <laughs> right, because you get horses that are just cool. Q card is the coolest horse yeah. in the country. Can you imagine your only horse that wins a bumper, runs in the Supreme, then uh, comes second in an Arkle, comes back, wins a Ryanair? Is that, oh, he won the Guineas. That's all he did. Then he just went and had a nice time in his uh, stable for the next 20 years. This is why it's so good. You get these horses coming back year after year, and you know, I'm still feeling the pain from Jack Adam getting beat last year. I don't even really want to mention his name this year. Um, who will Walsh, Walsh ride if the tour runs? I mean, there's so... You think you'd ride it ahead I of Jack Adam, do you? I definitely yeah. think he'll ride the tour. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Coming second on a horse that gets touched off in a Gold Cup, improves through the year, wins both starts, and then you get off it. Mm. Just, just an interesting thing on, on the... On the Gigginstown horses because they obviously haven't mm. haven't nailed their colours to a master. You've got Don Cossack and Don Poli, <coughs> but you've also got Road to Riches and Val Solida. And surely only probably two. You'd imagine that two will go yeah. Gold Cup, two will go Ryanair. So we're all working on the basis that Don Cossack or Don Poli are going to be the Gold Cup horses, and maybe Road to Riches and Val Solido would go to the Ryanair. I would be interested in a big prize at Val Solido mm -hmm. if he was given the chance to run in the Gold Cup, yeah. purely because, as we, we know, stamina wins you Gold Cups. Mm -hmm. And he, 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 he shaped like a real stayer last time in Ireland. And I think he's a big prize. I used to be a bookmaker with mm -hmm. so many yeah, yeah. on runners. Hey? Um, I just think it's a brilliant, brilliant race. And I can't wait to be there for it. In terms of what's going to win, I'll, I'll take... One speedier type, which I think Q card is, yeah. and I think Don Poli just reminds me of sy synchronised, and I could just see him staying and staying and staying mm. and staying and staying, and staying. Um, which due to a lot of rain still in the next two mm. three weeks, I think it could be a real test. I would love to see Q card win pretty much more than any other horse at the festival, um, but I think Don Poli's the main danger to him. Selection time briefly. Don Cossack. Of course, should you even <laughs> had to ask, Bill. Um, I'm allowed to. No. Go on. Q card, this is my place. Both each way as a package. Yeah, Q card for me on the nose. Okay, Q card and Don Pony for me. But we're there, Go Cup Day. We're on the bottom rail. We're in tax. Come and see us. We'll make sure you're looked after. Fill the bag up. Exactly. <laughs> Fill our bag up. And then Tanya can report how much you've lost. <laughs> oh, God.